August. Watch Gordas. I'll miss you! Just hurry up. I don't like being alone with this... thing. <gasps> but I like you so much! Hey, have you got a plan for what to say to Scooter? Because he screwed him out of a lot of money for those caravan repairs. He could be angry. about what he did to the Zafford clan? He's a pretty jolly guy for someone who just buried another man alive. Just stick to the old con. We're professional racers. He looks like he lives on a diet of car exhaust and old ham. I doubt he'll see through it. He does smell like ham. It's my two favorite gals. Come to see your old sponsor, huh? How go the races? I know you sure like going fast, ha <laughs> ha. Wait, no, not like you're a fast woman or... Oh, shoot. Uh, like racing's just in your veins, is all I'm saying. I'll shut up. Scooter, great to see you. Just an absolute pleasure. Every time I get to see your face, just... Mm. Go on. <laughs> nah, you don't have to go on. I know my face is about as appealing as a dead dog. Somebody whacked a few times with the tire iron until it popped. But anyway, it's great to see you. What can I do you for? Not saying that I want to do you or nothing. No, it's, well, not that I'm saying I wouldn't either. Uh, would one of you like open your mouths and make with the wording so I can, I can shut? It's fine. I mean, my uncle always said, never open your mouth. We're gonna fly up to Helios and leave a big flaming pile of skag crap right on their doorstep. Oh, heck yeah. What do you want to get the crap? Do you want to, like, just find some? Or do you want to, like, make some? Or do you want to get it off the black market? Because I know this wholesaler, trust me, on We're not actually gonna do that. It's a metaphor. Yeah. That word. That all sounds great. Only problem is funding. No, don't worry about it. Valerie will pay for whatever we need to get to Helios, get the Gordas piece, and get out. I understood exactly half those words. Let's do it. Oh, wait, when I said that there was only one problem, I meant that there were two? Because, look, I know a lot about cars and I know a lot about engines, but rockets are right out of my purview. My business partner knows rockets like you wouldn't believe, but she's, uh, she's a little out of sorts. Oh, no. Janie's been like that since she heard about some big bald hunter fight what happened out in the tundra. Athena ain't checked in for a while. She put two and two together. She ain't in much of a mood to do rocket stuff. Maybe you should talk to her, Fee. You're the last one who saw Athena, right? Yeah. Hi, Janie. Hi, hat girl. Athena's not the type to leave just for some random delivery job. She lied, and you covered her ass. I... I really wanted to believe her. I did. But she forgot to turn her echo off the last time we spoke. Oh. I heard the two of you talking. Her echo went dead after the fighting started. I couldn't... What was she doing? Why did she lie to me? I need to know. I know she wasn't on a delivery job. Why would she lie to me like that? Why would she leave? She was... training me. For what? To be a vault hunter. She wasn't putting herself in danger for her own sake. She was teaching me how to survive. She wouldn't do something like that out of the goodness of her heart. An old friend of ours hired her. Yeah? And where's he? Oh, hell. Athena. So what happened to her exactly? I've never seen Athena lose a fight. How'd she get grabbed? So long as she's got that shield, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on her. It doesn't make sense. She can't... She was saving my life. Valerie threw two Vault Hunters and her entire gang at Athena, but she held them off. She only surrendered to stop them from killing me. Your girlfriend is a hero. <laughs> I know. Ha ha ha. This is kind of awkward. Change the subject. 
these nice ladies want us to build a rocket for them? What do you say? I don't know if I've got the parts. Sure you do. Come on. You just gotta... I just want to know one last thing, and then I'll see about the rocket. Did she... say anything about me? Before they took her. The way she acted, sometimes I didn't even know if she liked me. Like maybe I was just a fluke or something. Hell, you don't need to hear this. Sorry. She told me to pass on a message. She said she loves you. She did? I... Oh, goodness. Okay. Oh, wow. Young lady, you are going to have yourself a rocket. And once I'm done building it, I'm going to grab every gun I can carry, I'm going to drive out of here, I'm going to rescue my girlfriend, and I'm going to marry the piss out of her. I'm in. I can probably build you something that'll break Atmo, but beyond that, you'll want a mechanic on board to make sure it doesn't explode on you. Oh man, that sounds like a job for the scooter man if I ever heard one. And considering it's a dream of mine to catch a ride into space and all that, it would be like just, just wow. Scooter, wanna come with? Be our onboard mechanic? You mean it? Whoa, space buddies! <laughs>